Hey guys, welcome to another Bitter About to Render Blender tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome stylized look inside of Blender. Now, the thing is, you might be asking yourself, why not just make the scene and then add a filter onto it in the end? Wouldn't that be much simpler and easier and faster? Well, here's the thing. You start to lose your 3D creative freedom if you do that. The whole point of Blender is to be able to work in three dimensions. The ability to move around and like alter stuff and for that object to interact in 3D is what makes Blender so good, right? And that's why, as you can see, in this case, the texture that I've added on interacts with the light, interacts with the perspective I look at it. And that's why I'll show you how to do this inside of Blender itself. And it's only three easy steps. First is to bake the texture. Second is to paint over the texture. And third final step is to, well, reapply the texture. It's that simple. All right, so over here in Blender, the first step is to actually UV unwrap the objects. Now remember, you're going to be painting over this, so make sure you UV unwrap it in a way where you can understand what's going on. In this case, don't worry about the textures having all this painted stuff, I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, as you can see, although this teacup, the shape is a hard shape to unwrap, you can tell that this is the bottom or the base of the cup, and these are like the sides as well as that. And overall, you can understand kind of what's going on so that when you paint over it, you can paint in certain directions according to the shape. Now, once you've UV unwrapped, what you're going to want to do is going into the shading tab, make sure you have a texture. It doesn't really matter any texture. Remember, this works with metallicness or really anything. So you're going to click shift A, open up the image texture, click new. Uh, I would set the resolution to something a little higher, such as 2048. Okay, and now make sure that this texture is selected and over here in the render properties, you're going to scroll down till you find it. Bake. Make sure that the bake type is normal. If it isn't, change it and make sure that the influence, if it isn't object, make sure it's object. Now, once you've gotten this, it's as simple as clicking bake. And there we go. On the side, now we can see this colorful looking map and what this map basically shows is all the colors are associated with a certain height and well normal texture all right so in any of your chosen painting or photo editing app in this case i chose photoshop but really anything works you're going to want to open up the image that we just baked and now what you're going to want to do is start painting over the objects but in a way where you're choosing the color, painting, choosing the color, painting over it again and again and again until you get something that looks like this. Remember, it doesn't have to be too perfect because we're going for that handmade look, but like make sure it's not the totally opposite color because then it'll totally mess up how it looks. And make sure you also don't leave any spaces like I did here because then in the end results, it starts creating these spots where it's just straight black and we don't want that because it'll totally mess up the smoothness of the scene all right now that we're back in blender as you can see we previously had this texture we don't want that anymore so you can exit out of here instead we're going to open up the new painted texture that we just made now after you've done that we're going to open up a normal map shift a normal map and this is really important. Instead of tangent space, we want object space. Color into color, normal into normal. And there you go, you instantly get this handmade painted look. And the thing is, you can now alter the different settings, make it more metallic, make it more rough, mess around and see what suits you. And the thing is, you'd still be able to maintain this handmade look. And that's the beauty of working in 3D. And make sure to hit that like button and the notification button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.